That's the clevis for the uh, push rod for the master cylinder. Basically I'm just shaving each side down a little bit to uh, fit the stock pin. Even though I include pins in case somebody wants to use the factory pin. And I'm using earplugs in there to keep the parallels apart. And yes, I could do a CNC program and have it do it, but I was planning on having the CNC running in the background while I did this, but uh, the parts I'm running right now don't lend themselves to doing that. And by the time, I spend more time prepping and flipping the part than I do actually in the machining, so by the time I go hit cycle start and blah 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 and it clears itself out of the way, it's just not really worth doing it on the CNC mill. I've got this in here, it just happened to be the right size to to space that, to make sure that in case it's not grabbing on the sides, it's not pushing it down and deflecting it. That way I get a more accurate cut each time. Some, some of them don't need it. Most of them do. Basically when I cut that off, when I shave that down, it cuts any chamfer off there. So in order to make, get rid of the burr and to make it easier to put the pin in, I'll just give it a little deburring, a little chamfer there. All these steps add up. But it's still cheaper and easier to modify an existing product than to uh, make those myself. And depending on just how hard I push the cutter across there, sometimes it leaves a pretty good burr. Either way, it leaves a bit of a burr. That one's got a pretty good burr there. So Scotch-Brite wheel takes it off without me having to worry about big, huge sanding scratches or taking too much off. So. I had a jam nut, put the two together, the rod that I've shown before, um, and uh, put the clip in it, and there you go. And part of the reason for the narrowing too is that it fits the factory uh, pin, but it also leaves a, a little bit of a gap here to make it where you could hook the return spring into here uh, if you want. Um, that was part of the motivation too, but uh, uh, primarily to fit the factory spring in case people don't uh, want to use this one.